Well, how are you doing this evening? I'm going for a nice little sunset ride and I wanted to bring you along. I'm about to turn down Main Street. This is one of my favorite rides. I love to go down Main Street. I know there's a lot of stoplights and stuff, but I just love the look of my downtown Denison. The Main Street is just really pretty. It's especially pretty at night. From right up here at the top of this hill, it all just lights up with street lights, and it's just beautiful. Of course, I'm prejudiced because I live here, and I own buildings here, and I'm very fond of it. So this is downtown Denison. The lights always blink red. Looks like we have a little funeral going on over there, so I'm gonna just sneak on by very quiet like. We got everything you need down here. We got a gym, we got a coffee shop, we got a cigar shop, jewelry store, popcorn store, and antiques. We have antique places at the Wazoo. So we are quite the destination for people from Dallas to come up here and shop for antiques. National Best Friend Day. Well, I hope you reach out and hug your best friend. So, a lot of antique stores, got a cupcake shop, a shoe store. Who has shoe stores anymore these days? Shoes are disposable. You just go buy a new pair. But not if you live in Denison. You can go get your shoes repaired at Wayne's Shoe Shop. Ran by George. Yeah, I know. Don't ask. Got a bookstore. It's a great bookstore. Tons and tons of used books. I love to just go in there and look around. We got banks, lawyers, Ugh. <laughs> no offense if you're a lawyer, CPAs, we have a winery, a brewery, Italian restaurants, pawn shops, title companies, insurance agents, and downtown Denison just has it all. I love it down here. Don't you go. You wait my turn. Thank you very much for your participation. We got candy shops. We actually have two candy shops. We have a cop shop. Thank you, Men in Blue. And we have a bar. You can't really see it on the other side of that big red big building. There's a bar, and then there's another bar down this street a little ways called Bird and Mike's Chestnut Street Pub. Great place. Golly, that's a big dog. <laughs> that's a big, big dog. Woo! There's the old Katy Depot. This is what started Denison right here. That old railroad depot station. Denison is very much a railroad community, or it was when it was founded. I think it's even named after a uh, railroad executive, Mr. Denison. The old Traveler's Hotel. Love that place. I've been in it several times. Incredible historic building. I think it's some sort of a rehab center, therapy center, something along those lines these days. But. So now we're headed out East Main. And this is, like I said, one of my favorite rides. We're headed to Carpenter's Bluff Bridge. And we'll take that bridge over into Oklahoma. was staring hard at me. So I'm now at a little over 1400 miles on my Can-Am Spider RT Special Series 2016 model. I've been riding it almost every chance I get. This is the first time I've been able to ride in about a week. We have just had a ton of rain up here every day. Rain, rain, rain. We've got flooding and stuff going on. So I haven't been able to ride it very much. So this is the first day I've been able to ride it in about a week and I'm enjoying it 
very much. But yeah, I've got like 1,400 miles on it. And when I bought it, the guy said around 3,000 miles, you got to bring it in for its first service. And it's like a, a six hour ordeal and about $500, blah, blah, blah. So I think they'll change, you know, the oils and the fluids and the liver and all that good stuff and make my Can-Am Spider just uh, be ready for another, uh, I think only 3,000 more miles and you got to do it again. So. I don't know. I'm not mechanical in any way, shape, or form, so I leave all that to the professionals, and I will just anxiously await its return. But I'm anxious to get it in there. I know the first oil change is always important. Make sure there's no weird metal shavings or weird stuff like that in your oil. Make sure everything's operating the way it's supposed to. You know, I read the I read the manual, and the manual talked about you know not doing certain things for like the first so many miles like you know try not to slam on the brakes if you can for the first you know thousand miles or whatever and then try not to pin the throttle back for the first two thousand miles or whatever. and i'm just making this stuff up so don't quote me on this but uh you know if you got a spider read your manual and find out what it says but there was some rules about don't do this don't do that but you know quite frankly i think i did all of that stuff uh you know within the first 20 minutes of owning my spider before i read the manual so if you're thinking about buying a spider, maybe you want to read the manual real quick and find out what those uh, those uh, do's and do nots are before you <laughs> drive it off the lot. Because if you're like me, I drove it off the lot and first thing I tried to do was find a nice open stretch where I could uh, open it up a little bit and see what she could do. I see dead people. Somebody needs to come mow. There's a nice porta potty out in the middle of nowhere for no good reason. I think I'm gonna pass on that right now. So I'm still loving my Can-Am Spider. I mean, if you watch my other video about why I bought a Can-Am Spider, uh, you'll know I bought it for the ease. And yeah, that still is true to this day. Just the ease of driving and riding this thing is so nice. I, you just can't go wrong with it. I mean, don't get me wrong, if you're still enjoying the two-wheel bikes and you like the leaning in the corners and the shifting and all that good stuff, yeah, Can-Am will probably be fun for you to ride for a short time, but you'll probably get tired of it pretty quickly. But if you're over the, uh, the leaning over at 50 degree angles and the shifting the gears five jillion times on a ride and you just want to enjoy a ride, you might go test drive a Can-Am Spider because this has made riding so much more enjoyable for me. I just can't stand it. Uh, I just can't wait to go on some road trips with Kelly and just get out there and enjoy it. And the way it's looking, I should be able to start doing some road trips around July. Oh, I love you. I love you too. Now, I don't know where these roads go after this. I've never gone anywhere except here. This is the Carpenter's Bluff Bridge. It is a single lane bridge. So even though I'm a motorcycle, oh, big hole. Nobody can come down while I'm going through it. So you got to use the courtesy system and just watch. As you can see, the Red River is rocking. This river is way wide right now. It's normally not this wide. But due to all the rain we've been having, let's see, nobody's coming, let's stop out here. Due to all the rain we've been having, it's just, they got the floodgates on the dam. The dam is up that way, a ways. And they got the, uh, the generators for the power just rocking. This part here, you can see where these trees are. Usually everything behind these trees is sand and people swim and do stuff down here. So that shows you how much higher the river is than normally. Well, this makes you feel safe when the railings are rusted off. Yeah, no problem, I feel safe. Oh, I gotta go, somebody's waiting on me now. But that gives you an idea of how full the river is right now. So a lot of people like to come up here. You can get down to the shore right over here. We kind of call it like a redneck resort because it's mostly locals that go there and uh, hang out, bring the girls and the family, and they hang out and have fun down there. No offense if you're a redneck. I mean that with all due respect. It just is a good alliteration for resort, redneck resort. 
So now we're in Oklahoma. Don't ask me where we're going because I don't know. I'm kind of hungry, but again, there's nowhere to eat over here. But it is a beautiful ride. I love riding back here. Fresh handmade pizza and a notary republic. <laughs> uh, so you can get your uh, pizza and get your legal documents motor notarized all in one stop. Well, you know, I guess. Oh, don't you do it, don't you do it. I guess today we're going to do it. The dock. Good catfish, and you need to go there if you're in this area. So I think we're in Hendricks, Oklahoma now. And I think I gotta turn here, that road dead ends. Mmm, I smell barbecue. Or maybe I just smell a fire. I don't think I took the right road, actually. I think I'm kinda lost. Boy, there's a big family thing going on there. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, I'm lost. I'm lost. I took a wrong turn and we are getting into deliverance territory. I can hear the banjos playing now. Oh yeah, there's a big dog out in the road. Oh yeah, we're deep into deliverance territory here. Hi puppy. Please. Oh, there's a bigger dog. Okay. Well, let's see if this road will take us back up to the main highway and see if I can survive this trip into deliverance town. I think they need to mow their grass. I'm not a professional landscaper, but I think they need to mow their grass. Oh, there's some more dogs. I have no clue where I'm at. And I think this is the road I came in on, so I think I'm good now. Yeah, that's the church I just passed. Yeah, I think I stuck out like a sore thumb in this town. They definitely knew I did not belong. Well, I don't know which road I went down. Maybe I had to go straight some more. I'm not sure. Oh, well. I'm going to head back across. And get back to Texas. Oh, it's a nice night for a ride. Only thing missing is Kelly. I've been having to do some stuff on every Saturday for a while. But I get to, I'm done with that after July 7th. I won't have to do uh, the Saturday things anymore. And that's when I'm looking forward to being able to do some weekend getaways uh, with Kelly and the spider. I think our first thing we're going to do is go up to uh, the Kayamichi, uh, not Kayamichi, the uh, Kayamina? Kayamina? Queen Kayamina? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it starts over in like Arkansas, I believe. And, uh, winds through the mountains. Kayamini Kayamini Mountain? Ah, uh, crap, I don't remember. Anyway, it starts in Arkansas, winds its way through the mountains back into Oklahoma. I think it's about a four-hour drive uh, over the mountains. It's a four-hour drive. It'll be about like a four or five-hour trip to get to where we're going. I want to start at the end of it because that'll be in Arkansas and then we'll come back into Oklahoma and it'll be a, a, just a quick little jaunt back home uh, from there. Because so, if we go the other way, if we start in Oklahoma and head towards Arkansas, then I have a nice five-hour drive home. So I think we're going to drive to Arkansas, get a hotel room, stay the night, and then hit it in the morning. And they take a nice leisurely trip through the uh, Kayamina Trail. I don't know. It's pretty famous if you search... A word that sounds like Kayamina Motorcycle Trail, Oklahoma. You'll probably find it. But I think it ends in um, Mina, Arkansas. M-E-N-A. So that's going to be, our, I think, our first road trip. That'll be a good little judge if we can handle <laughs> a road trip. You know, I'm not sure we're quite ready. Oh, I should go. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to book it across, though. Woo! Yeah, I got somebody waiting, so I'm going to hurry up. 
So little known fact, well not little known, it's well known. Oh my kid, I just like to say little known fact because it makes me sound smarter. But it's actually a big fact. This bridge that we just crossed was actually the first free bridge crossing from Texas to Oklahoma or vice versa. I've often wondered why they don't tear that bridge down. I mean, this is one lane. They already had to fix it once. They went down there to inspect it. And uh, the divers went in the water and went down to the, the piers. And they found like they were really badly eroding. The, the dirt around the pier was really getting eroded. I mean, it's a river. What are you going to expect? Of course, dirt's going to erode from around stuff that doesn't move. Uh, so they had to close the bridge down for a while and uh, do some major uh, repair work on it. So, I suspect uh, one day soon they're going to tear that puppy down and build a, uh, a real bridge. Not that that's not a real bridge, but you know what I mean. Build a real two-lane bridge because it, it is heavily used. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed your little evening jaunt with me. It was a great pleasure being your tour guide through the, the backwoods of Texas and Oklahoma. I'm glad we didn't get deliveranced. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Squeal like a pig, boy. Um, no thank you, if you don't mind. Anyway, y'all have a good night. We'll see you next time. I took a picture instead of shutting the damn camera off. I do that a lot. It's very frustrating. Let's try this again. See you next time.